You have many choices when working in the software for importing graphics. If you use another graphics program, the easiest by far is to just copy your graphic in your software and then paste it right into the SimpleCut software. This program loves copy and paste. That gives you a very quick way to import a vector image. Let's talk quickly about the difference of raster versus vector files. Raster or bitmap images are made up of pixels or squares of color. Vector files are crisp mathematical lines. These types of files are ideal when you're creating artwork for your projects. This information is on the Gomez Graphics website and you can locate it easily by searching vector graphics versus raster graphics. Let's go to Google Images to search for a graphic. Ideally, we'll look for vector graphics, but most likely you'll find mostly JPEGs, PNG files. These are raster images, but the software can trace them. Select Search. This will bring up a lot of options, and you can refine your options with the search tools in Google Images. Use the drop-down to select size. Ideally, you'd like large images for color, black and white, for type, clip art, or line drawing. And under usage rights, I don't usually use these filters because I find that many of these graphics are fair use. This is from uh, Creative Commons. Let's look at this design, even though it is not designated in the filter. If we visit the Wikimedia Commons page, by clicking Visit Page, we can then find out the usage for this piece of clip art. I can see its size. I can see that it's an SVG file, which is a vector graphic, which is ideal for importing into the software. You can download the image, or sometimes I use right-click and Save Image As. I'm then going to make sure that I'm saving this as a SVG file and select Save. Let's go back and grab a raster image to use as well. Let's check out this design and then visit the page to check the usage. I usually select black and white images, but let's try a different color and we'll trace this image and bring it into the software. This is a PNG file, so this is a raster image. Right click, save image as, and I'm going to save this as a PNG file. Let's open the software, select New, select a background color, Next. Place a bullet in From File to look for a graphics file using the three dots to browse. Select the image that was just downloaded. This is a PNG or a raster image, Open, Next. Anytime a raster image is imported, you have the option to use it as a backdrop and use the tools in the software to draw around the outlines yourself, or you can let the software trace and convert that image to crisp vector outlines. Select Next. Check the size of the design to see if it needs scaling. The accuracy can be increased or decreased and the color limit can be changed. For this image, I would like a color limit of two. Two colors, one for the graphic itself and one for the background. Select Trace. Select Finish. Select the outside of the design and you can see that the background has been generated and I'm going to click Delete on my keyboard to delete the background just leaving me with my paw print as a vector file that is now ready to be exported to the cutter. I'm going to close this design and let's look at the difference of bringing in a vector graphic. File New, Background, and next, place a bullet in From File and select the three dots to browse and let's select the initial SVG file that we downloaded. Select Next. Notice that there is no option to trace as this does not require tracing as it is a vector graphic and comes into the software instantly ready to use.